West Nile virus showing up earlier and in larger numbers in Utah mosquitoes this year, drawing concern it could soon show up in people. News specialist Mike Anderson explains how abatement districts are working to keep up, but at the same time, they face staffing problems. Mike? Yeah, Dina, you know, uh, Davis County, for example, uh, already facing some staffing shortages, as we've mentioned before, but now uh, more abatement districts are losing summer help as their employees go back to school. All of this coming as the mosquito season is picking up fast. The marshy wetlands are blamed for the majority of the mosquitoes out there. Abatement techs keeping a close eye on bodies of water, making sure their efforts are paying off. It's really turned into a busy season for West Nile virus this year. Dr. Greg White, assistant director at Salt Lake City Mosquito Abatement, says the bigger concern is not so much the amount of mosquitoes, but the large numbers of pools or traps that are testing positive for West Nile, 30 of them just last week. But the season started out really warm. We had a really warm spring and the early summer was quite warm. And just having those warm conditions early in the season can help the virus. In that same week, Davis County abatement found 55 positive pools, some of the highest rates Director Gary Hatch has ever seen. But to find that many in one week is very unusual. Uh, and we've been already finding a great number of pools. We're well over 100 positive pools for the summer so far already. The season nearing its very busy peak just as summer help starts to go away and head back to school. Hatch was already dealing with a staffing shortage, getting about half the number of employees he would have liked. And right now, they may need the help the most. We're battling the, the over one inch rains that we had a week ago that are causing the floodwater mosquitoes to really come out in big numbers right now. Salt Lake starting to lose their seasonal help too, adding to the reasons why all of us need to do our part. And Hatch and White uh, both say that we're going to start seeing more of the type of mosquito out there that uh, bites all day long. So they say you should prepare, use repellent, uh, long sleeve shirts if you can stand it. And of course, clean the standing water around your house. Back to you. All right, Mike, thanks.